Hey guys, I'm playing chess. Hmm, what should I do? I'm gonna, ooh, got you. Good move, self. Now Ryan, it's your turn. Yes! Okay, Ryan, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm playing chess with Ryan. He's really good at this. Uh, okay, well, um, guess where we're going today? Uh, the pool? No, the beach, silly! The beach? But what if there are sharks? Wait, are you scared of sharks? But you have a shark friend named Big Gil, remember? But I know Big Gil, he's nice. But what about the sharks at the beach that I don't know? Well, let's learn all about sharks first so you won't be scared. And who's better to teach you than Gil himself? Okay, I'm gonna let you talk to Gil while I gotta go get packing, okay? Okay, all right. Hi, Gil. Oh yeah, check out the Gil skills. Oh yeah, what's up, Ryan? Big Gil, my mom said we should go to the beach, but I'm scared of sharks. Oh, sharks shouldn't bother you if you're up on the beach. But I don't know anything about sharks, so how am I supposed to know that? Well, how about this? I'll give you some fun facts about sharks and show you some videos so you can think we're super cool instead of scary, okay? Okay, let's learn shark facts. All right, so there are 400 kinds of shark species. We've been around forever, too. Sharks are older than dinosaurs. Our species is 450 million years old. The youngest species of sharks are those over there, the hammerheads, which evolved 20 million years ago. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, I didn't know sharks were that old. So you're like a real life dinosaur. <laughs> we're a little cooler than the dinos though. You see all of these guys? Aw uh, yeah, this is the real Gil Gang over here. Sharks have had to adapt in order to get this far. For instance, sharks have adapted to have no bones in their whole body. Instead, we have a strong elastic cartilage skeleton. Also, great white sharks have adapted to produce their own heat so that their body temperature adjusts according to the environment. Most sharks can't do that. Okay, I know you're blue, Gil, but aren't you a great white shark? Yeah, man. See, you know some sharky shark facts. Also, did you know that the great white shark isn't even the biggest shark? Actually, whale sharks are the largest. You see that great white shark over there? Imagine like two of him. That's the size of one whale shark. Is there even enough food for a shark that big? That's a good question, Ryan. Whale sharks eat tons of little baby fish and they are literally always eating. But for sharks like me, some of us can go a long time without eating if we have to. Some sharks can put their digestion on hold, storing a meal in their stomach for months. Whoa! Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and guess what? I saved the best for last. My last shark fact is that sharks have a sixth sense that is known as electrosense. This gives sharks an added ability to pick up electrical signals from potential prey. That means that we have a sense that tells us when something is close to us in the water, like a fish or a seal. Electro sense, that's super cool. Thanks for teaching me all about sharks, Big Gil. Of course, dude. See, we're pretty awesome. Well, I'll see you later, Ryan. Bye. Thank you for learning about shark facts with me. Hey guys, I'm just watching a video about pandas. Pandas are endangered. Pandas are in danger? Mommy, did you know pandas are in danger? In danger? Do you mean in danger? Uh, 
I think so, but what does that mean? I don't know. Huh, who do we know that is a panda expert, Ryan? Combo Panda. Combo Bunga! Did someone say Combo Bunga? Hey, what's up, Ryan? Are you okay, Combo? I heard you're in danger. Don't worry, Ryan. I'm okay. I'm a tough little panda. But my whole species of giant pandas is endangered. It means that there aren't too many of us left in the world. Less than 2,000. Less than 2,000? Why? <laughs> because we're so big. Some of us have to eat up to 40 pounds of bamboo per day. 40 pounds? That's a lot. Yeah, between pandas and humans, the bamboo jungle isn't big enough for the both of us. So what are the pandas going to do, Combo? There are some zoos that keep us safe. There's the one in San Diego. There's the one in Memphis. My cousin Barry hangs out at the Atlanta one. Oh, and my Uncle Larry lives over in the Washington, D.C. one. The rest are mostly in China, though. What do pandas do in China? They play a never-ending game of hide-and-seek from the humans so they can eat bamboo all day long! How do they hide? We can climb up trees or swim from one area to another. Wow, I never knew all these cool facts about pandas. Yeah, yeah! There's all kinds of panda facts to learn! What else should I know about pandas? Pandas have six toes to hold bamboo. With my extra thumbs, I can easily eat bamboo or play Roblox. I wish I had extra thumbs to play Roblox, too. Want to know something else cool? Pandas cannot store fat, so they do not hibernate. Therefore, they eat about 14 hours a day. 14 hours? That's a lot of time to be eating. And that's a ton of food. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm happy to have Roblox to distract me from always eating. I'm happy to have you as a friend, Combo. Aww, I'm happy to have you on the Combo Crew, Ryan. Hey, let's play a game of Roblox together. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's play the floor is lava. You're going down. No, you're going down. Go, Ryan, go, 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 get up! Woo! That was a close one! Anyway, thanks for learning panda facts with me, dude! Hey, Ryan, guess what? Huh? The floor is actually lava! Five, four, three, two, one! You're safe! Yay! Thank you for teaching me Panda Facts Combo. No problem. And thank you for watching this Panda Facts video. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. The floor is lava again. Five, four, four three, two, one. I'm safe. Hey guys, check this out. I saw some birds in the backyard and I'm trying to fly like them. Ryan? Yeah? What are you doing? Well, so I saw some birds flying in the backyard and I'm trying to be like them. I'm but, gonna fly. But Ryan, huh? you're not a bird. Wait, really? And besides, not every bird can fly, you know. Wait, really? Yeah, one of your best friends picked the penguin. He's a flightless bird. <gasps> right, speaking of Pat, he's right there. Why don't you go talk to him? Heck, is it true you can't fly? It's true, Ryan. I heard you were trying to fly. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. Well, penguins can't fly either. But that doesn't stop them from being some of the most interesting creatures on Earth. Wait, more interesting than Gus the Gummy Gator's gummy collection? Way more interesting. All right, I'm sold. Let's hear some more amazing penguin facts, Peck. I thought you'd never ask. Wait, have you had that list the whole time? <laughs> no. Uh, well, I guess I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. 
It's no big deal. Whoa! Looking sharp, Peck! Thanks! Did you know that the black and white tuxedo appearance that most penguins have is actually a form of camouflage called countershading? While swimming, the black on a penguin's back allows them to blend into the darkness of the ocean, obscuring predators from seeing them from above. And the white on their bellies blends in with the bright surface of the ocean when viewed from below. It's the best of both worlds. No wonder you're so good at hide and seek. Most birds have hollow, air-filled bones that are light enough to stay airborne. However, penguins adapted with solid bones instead. <sighs> because the bones are solid, it reduces the buoyancy or ability to float, which helps us penguins swim. Wow, can you breathe underwater? Penguins can't breathe underwater, but some can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. You know, all of this water talk is making me thirsty. Me too. Heck, that's salt water. Don't worry. Us penguins have a special gland above our eyes. A gland is an organ that is able to remove something from the body. And this gland in particular removes salt from our bloodstream. So we can drink all the ocean water we want. That's crazy cool. The emperor penguin is the tallest of all penguin species and can reach as tall as 47 inches in height. Whoa, that's huge! If you think that's big, recently discovered fossils indicate that an ancient species of penguin once stood 5 foot 10. That's like two pecs put together. And speaking of being put together, penguins have several layers of feathers to help keep them warm year round. After all, penguins live in some of the coldest climates. Does that mean some penguins live near Santa Claus? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. The only species of penguin to live above the equator is the Galapagos penguin. Every other species is located in the southern hemisphere, but primarily the South Pole. Aw oh, man, I wanted you to say hi to Santa for me. Wait, was that... Santa! It's a Christmas miracle! I guess Santa decided to visit the South Pole this year. Open your presents, let's see what he brought you. Okay, it's, it's, it's a rock. A rock? But, but why? You wouldn't get it. It's a penguin thing. It's very common for male penguins to give rocks and pebbles to female penguins as a sign of affection. Wait, Peck, does that mean you have a girlfriend? Uh, countershading. I'm invisible. You can't see me. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks, Ryan. I'm glad I have so many amazing friends, including you. Penguins are very social creatures, often grouping together for warmth and sticking together while hunting for food. Some colonies can even reach up to 20 million penguins at one time. That's a lot of friends. Wow, you're so popular, Peck. I can talk about penguins all day, but I'm kind of hungry, and fish is on the menu tonight. 
Thank you for sharing a lot of facts about penguins, Peck. They're way more interesting than I thought. Hey, they don't call me a penguin for nothing. All right, Peck, have fun. Ryan, are you still gonna try to fly like a bird? No, I think we should go swimming like a penguin. Great idea, what are we waiting for, right? Let's go. Remember, always stay happy and rise up, bye. Bye, we're gonna go swimming now. And thank you so much for learning about penguin facts with us. Bye. bye. Let's go, let's go.